Hey everyone, Cody here, and uh, thank you for coming back. Today I'm going to talk to you about how I made this painting right here, or I'm going to show you how I made that painting. Uh, this painting is painting number three in the series of, th of paintings that I did of similar colors, doing slightly different styles to kind of see what I like doing um, with vertical painting. So this is the third painting of the series. Um, if you saw the last two, those were all... Um, with the same colors, but slightly different techniques because I was just trying out some different things um, I've never painted paintings vertically um, on the wall before I talk about this in the other one um, But on all three paintings again, it was kind of like a science experiment where I was using the same colors But using the so the constant was the colors use the same colors. It was like a dark red uh, light yellow a pastel blue and a pastel green and the so those were the constants. I used the same colors on all three paintings, but the variable was the technique. And so in the first painting, I did uh, only poured, where I just poured the paint um, through, like on the whole painting. The second was I scraped the whole painting. So I put paint on both the canvas and on a large sheet of acrylic plastic, and then scraped it, and that was the whole painting. This last painting was a combination of both where I poured the painting, sprayed it, but then went back and scraped it. And this one actually is my favorite. So it was really cool because I was really proud of this one. I'll show you real quick here. I'm gonna show you in the demo, but I just kind of wanted to show you, I guess uh, the lighting is terrible, I know. And, and I can't apparently hold a camera straight, which, you know, sounds about right. But, you know, I, uh, I'm kind of crooked anyway. My spine's off. It's a, it's a joke, never mind. Um, but anyway, so this one actually is my favorite and I really like it because it's got these kind of rough lines going through. Um, so the, the first painting I talk about how I don't like it because the lines are super thick and they're really uneven and I just didn't like that. The second one, I did like it, but it had like kind of the trace of the hair. But one thing I don't like about the, the other version, here, I'm gonna put it up. <clears throat> Because I have it here, so I'm going to put them up so you can kind of see the uh, the difference. Okay. I hope that doesn't fall. Okay. So you kind of see the difference, right? So I'll move aside. Uh, let's see if I can get some light. Uh, nope. Nope. That made it worse. All right. So light's going back. Um, you can't really see it, but this one is darker. Um, also, it has like these little areas where the bottom part is coming through. Sometimes I like that, but on this one I just don't. Um, another thing that I don't like is that with the scrape painting, the paint kind of stops here. Um, overall, this isn't a bad one. I, I do like it, but this one, I, I don't know. I just like this one because it's like, it's lighter, right? And it's got some kind of faded edge on it. Um, but overall, the colors are just just very faint, very thin. I don't know, it just turned out great. So the combination of using the like the poured and then going back and scraping it, you'll see on the video that I actually scraped it with a small piece of corrugated plastic to kind of uh, make those lines. I don't know, it just turned out great. Um, but I suppose with any painting, you could have the ones that you like and don't like, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but I'm gonna show you how I made it. Essentially, I just poured diluted paint um, down the sides of the painting, and then I went back and scraped it with plastic. That's pretty much it. I mean, you're going to see all of that. So, I really like this painting. Out of the three, it's my favorite, and um, that's pretty much it. So, we'll go ahead and head over, and I'll show you how I made this painting.